Are you ready to create a worksheet for your out school class quickly and easily and for free? Hello everyone, I'm teacher Natalie from theedtechwizard.com. Welcome to my channel. Here you'll find videos all about teaching online, using technology in your classes, and becoming the best online teacher you can be. If you would like to apply for OutSchool or VIP Kid, just sign up with my link down below in the description box and shoot me an email that you used it at theedtechwizard at gmail.com and I'm happy to help you through the hiring process and beyond. In today's video, we are going to talk about and learn through this tutorial how to easily create a worksheet for your out school classes in Canva. Now, Canva is free. There's a free version, paid version, but you can do whatever you need, anything you need with the free version. So, in order to create worksheets, create an account with Canva. If you don't have one yet, your life will be changed with Canva. It is amazing. I use it all the time. So hop onto Canva and then you can follow along with me as we create your worksheet for your out school classes. Once you create an account and sign in to Canva, we can start letting the magic happen. So here is the main page of Canva and you can create a, des create a design here. You can click this button. Um, you can create your custom dimensions or you can start with an image or there's a lot of different options to choose from to start with. Um, for today, we're going to hop over to the templates and click on worksheet. We want to create a worksheet. Now it's going to pop up with a lot of templates for us to start from, from anything. And we can narrow it down by math, English, social studies. We can narrow down the category. Now for this video, we're going to be creating a worksheet from a template already made. Um, check out my next video that's coming out next week where we will create a template from a blank blank piece of paper. Now, I first things you're going to do is just scroll through, see if any of them matches your class idea and will fit right in or maybe you like the layout and the way things are placed and that might be a good starter for you for what you need, the layout you can edit anything on the text. So we're going to click this on this one and then click use this template. Now here I can edit everything here. I can, if I can click on it, I can edit it. And that is everything. Now this is a sorting one. Now I do have a preschool math class where I am going to be teaching sorting. So this one works perfectly for my class. Now I don't, I can click on stuff and edit it. So maybe I don't need all of this stuff and I can click on it and delete it. I don't need the date. I don't need the teacher name. I don't need that date. I don't need this. I can delete what I want and I can make that a little bigger. Now, before we change too much of our worksheet, I want to go over just quickly these menus over here that can help you. There are the templates. This is what we chose from. They still have a ton of templates over here. If you change your mind, you can change your template. Uploads, these are pictures you have uploaded. Maybe you want to upload your own picture, a picture of yourself, or you have are bringing in another picture from a site like Pixabay or Unsplash that you want to use you can upload it to Canva and then put it into your worksheet. Photos, Canva has their own photo library. You can search um, photos and it will pop up with a ton of photos. Now there is a free version and a paid version. So if the photo says free, you are free to use that photo. Same with um, elements. Elements are your 2D pictures. So you can search shapes, frames, or you can search anything 
flowers and it will pop up with a whole bunch of flowers and they're really cute text these this is your text box you can add in a heading subheading a title of body add it into your worksheet if you need to add more text if you want pre laid out text there are these options as well if we click on it it's going to pop in right here and then you can change oh let's spell hello right you can change it right here as well so i don't want that so we just click on it and then i, I clicked backspace and it got rid of it so if you like one of these pre laid out or pre-made texts you can use one of those as well a um, music we don't need to be adding music or videos for our worksheet and then the background this is if you want to change the whole background of your worksheet and it will change it for a worksheet i'm not going to be using a background but that is a great option if you use canva for anything else so i'm going to just click delete now we have the great room cleanup i'm going to change the color of my images now keep in mind if you, this is a worksheet that they're printing off at home you don't necessarily want a whole ton of color this might be fine but it is easier if worksheets are black and white. Now, if I, I can create a worksheet and we can complete it in class, and then I can have color if I want to add it, that's more fun. But to make it, but for printing, printing, I'm going to make them all black. Now, I want to make everything at once black, so I'm going to highlight everything. I just click and hold my cursor to highlight everything, and then I can click on black, and that will make everything black. And then I I have to click here. This, These are my image colors, and I'm going to click black. Now I want to add another element here. I want to put another flower base on the uh, top of my bookshelf. So I'm going to go to elements and then let's type in flower vase. See what we get. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm going to click this one um, because it is black and white already and I can add it to the top of the bookshelf. Now, if you click on it and you see these dots, that is how you, you resize it. I can rotate it with these arrows. And when it gets small like this, it's going to pop up with this um, four plus sign arrows that I can click and drag as well to move my objects instead of grabbing the whole thing. Arrow is very helpful if you are working on the phone app of Canva. Um, I use the phone app all the time and it's easy to use. And what you are working on in Canva saves. So then whatever I'm working on now, I can now later go work on this same thing in the phone app. And I use this arrow all the time to drag smaller images. If I try to use my finger to pull the whole image, my finger is just too big and it resizes it. So if you're using the app, make sure you always grab from the arrows. It is, it makes it easier. Now I'm down here at the bottom of my worksheet and I have all of these images that are moving at the same time with each other. This is awesome. Once you have your worksheet laid out and you want to group things together so they move together. This is called grouping. Now I want to change this toy in the middle so I need to ungroup it. So I need to click on the toy I want to change and then up here I'm going to click ungroup. Now all of these can be moved just have to unclick on it. Now I can move one 
thing at a time, one image at a time. So I want to switch it out for another toy. So let's type in toy, or let's just type in dinosaur. And I'm going to click a black and white one to match. So let's click this one. There it is. I'm going to just highlight it. I'm going to click delete to, to delete it. And then my toy dinosaur can fit right in there. Now to make sure these are all moving together so I can't accidentally move it. I'm just going to highlight them all and then click group again. Now they're moving all together. Now I have these flower vases on top of my dresser. Now if I want more or the same flower vase, I can click on it, right click, click copy, and then right click again, click paste. I can also on a PC click control C to copy, control V to paste, and it will paste it as well. Now, if I want to make sure all of these are lined up evenly spaced, I can drag my cursor across all of them and I can see a blue square around them so I know they're highlighted. I'm gonna go to position and click tidy up. And that will evenly space them apart. And then I can, if I want to move them all at once, I can highlight, I'll highlight these four because I want these four to sit on the shelf. I'm going to move it down, click off of it, and then just click this one to move it down again. So uh, highlight all of them at once and then position, tidy up if you want them to be equally spaced between each other. And then I don't want these to move anymore, so I'm going to group them together. So now they move as one whole. Now, if I want this, this element to stay exactly where it is on the page and not move on the page, then I can highlight it and click lock. Now, I cannot move this image at all. It is locked into place. This is awesome, so I don't mess it up. It's locked in place. My fingers on the phone app can't move it anymore. This one's not locked, so I can still move it around. So if I click on an image, then it's highlighted, and I can then change all of the individual colors for that picture right up here. If I click on any picture, that is how I change the color. So here, I'm going to change the outline to black, and then it's I'm going to keep it as... We're going to change the pink to white, and that is how... I can make it a black and white image. Now, if I don't like what I did, then I can undo it. There is this button, undo. I'm just going to click it and it can recolor it how I want to. Or I can redo control and it will bring it black to black and white. Um, I use the shortcut on the PC, control Z all the time to undo what I just did. That is a much faster way for me, control Z. Now if I have text on a worksheet and I like how the font looks, I like the size of it, and I want to continue with that formatting, then an easy way is to click on the text you want to copy, click on the text box you want to copy so it's highlighted, and then you're gonna go up here and click the paintbrush. Um, when it turns black, you know it is, it's chosen. And then you're gonna go to your next text box and click on it. And then it'll copy that exact same formatting that you liked. Then you can resize it if you need to, if you wanted to keep the text style. I can resize this. So this text is the same. This paintbrush tool makes adding in text boxes to make sure your font matches every text box you want it to so much easier because it's just the click of a button. I don't have to type in and then go up here and find all of the new fonts or find the same font I was using. Now to change the font, 
Um, you just click on it, highlight it, and then click on the font you want. And there are so many fonts to choose from. Now, if it has a crown by it, you have to pay for that font. But if it doesn't have a crown by it, then it is free. And there are a lot of free options. There's so many free options. There we go. Look at all of these free options to choose from. So cool. And then you can also change the size of your text box. You can change the color of your text here. You can, on some, some fonts, not all of them, you can bold it, italicize it, underline it. You can change the case of your text and then you're seeing your alignment of your text. And you can add bullet points if you need to, as well as text spacing. So the letter, how far apart the letters are from each other and how tall your text is is you can also add effects to your text box so we're going to click the title click on effects i can add a drop shadow to my title i can add um, this effect hollow so many effects you can add to your text curve this one is fun i like curve you can curve it around a circle. Now, again, if I don't like something, I'm going to go to control Z to, and I like the drop shadow. So I'm going to click that one. This one I'm going to change. Let's change it back to a font that is easier to read. We're going to make it black. We're going to get rid of the bullet point and make it smaller. There we go. Okay, here is our worksheet ready to go. I can send this worksheet as um, homework and after class activity, or we can start this in class. Now, if I want another worksheet, so maybe we do a worksheet, you work on a worksheet together in class, and then after class, you want them to continue on the same activity, but a different worksheet. You can add a new page down here at the bottom and it will add a blank page where you can then click on a different template um, to do what you need to. Or another option, if you want to keep a lot of the same formatting that you have up here at the top, you're going to click duplicate page. And it's going to make another copy of the same page. So for this sorting class, we can do a sorting activity in class. And then maybe I want them to sort on their own. And we can sort by, by shapes if things are big or small. So I can change all of these pictures. So we're going to click delete. We're going to add, let's highlight all of these at the same time. Whoops. Okay. Now this box created, I'm going to lock it in place. I did not like how I was able to move that um, piece. So I'm going to lock it in place. Now let's add an element. I'm going to sort by big and small objects. So I'm going to click big or put big here. Bookshelf, this one's big. This one is going to be small. So something big. Dinosaurs are big. I'm going to click dinosaur. Put a dinosaur there. And an elephant is big. Elephant is big. Here's a nice black and white one. I'm going to resize it to fit in here. Um, a mouse is small. I'm going to resize it to fit in the box. And I can, I'm going to turn mine um, a little bit so we can get the tail of the whole mouse in the box. I 
don't like how that's all black, but that's okay. Okay, let me fill in the rest of this one by one. So here we go. So I finished filling in the rest of my worksheet and you can see they're not quite um, evenly spaced. So what I'm gonna do is highlight all of them. I just drag my cursor across all of those, go to position, tidy up, and it moves them for me. Same with the bottom row. Highlight all of them, position, tidy up. And it moves them so they're nice, evenly spaced between um, my between each other. Now I'm going to have to move them a little bit because I want them in my boxes and that's okay. Now the whole time you're working on your worksheet, it is auto saving. So that way you are able to just close out of this and work on it again later or on the app. And up here, here we change the title of our worksheet. So I'm going to title it sorting worksheet. Now here we can download it and it gives you several options to download it. it gives you a suggested file type to download it. And we're going to download it. I'm going to choose PDF. Um, PDF print, PDF standard, whatever one fits your need. Um, because I want parents to be printing this off, PDF will be much better. And you can select the pages you want to save or download as. So I can select all of them. I can select just one page or I can select random pages in my document. So I'm going to do one and two. Those are the ones I'm going to want parents or attached in the out school classroom and want parents to print off and then click done and it will download to your computer. Creating a worksheet in Canva is super easy when you can browse through those templates and find one that fits your needs. Everything on that template is you are able to edit the text and everything and you can change it around to fit the needs for your class. Um, I do have another video that I show you how to use Canva to create thumbnails for your class pictures on OutSchool. And Next week, I will have a video on how to create a worksheet from scratch, from a blank page using Canva. So make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can not miss that video with more helpful tips. And I will see you next week. Bye!